Well, we've learned more about the soldier who died today and the man who killed him, as people all day have wondered how a gunman could have made it onto the hill undetected. The CBC's Catherine Cullen has that. Catherine. Peter, a lot of pointed questions about security are being asked, and we've obtained a video of what appears to be a sh the shooter that highlights some of those questions. He's running from the war memorial, carrying what looks like a gun, just moments after the shooting was reported. He also matches witness descriptions. I saw a man come around with a uh, black and white and headpiece and a, and a very long rifle. I uh, saw the man, the guy, the sh shooter with a long rifle, yeah, a three-quarter long coat run across that way. Notice how the car has no license plates and is parked in the middle of what is supposed to be one of Canada's safest streets, meters from the Prime Minister's office and Parliament Hill. Nobody made an attempt to chase him, but we all watched him run because he had a weapon. That same car was seen abandoned in front of Parliament just minutes later. So what do we know about the gunman, Michael Zahaf Bibo? A 32-year-old by that name has a criminal record. In Montreal, a drug possession charge. In Vancouver, he was charged with robbery, but pleaded guilty to a lesser offence of uttering threats. The victim, 24-year-old Corporal Nathan Cirillo, a reservist serving in Hamilton, Ontario, with the Argyle and Sutherland Highlanders of Canada. Cirillo joined the cadets when he was just 13. He leaves behind a son. I know no one deserves to die at, at, at a young age or whatever, but he didn't deserve that. I don't know how someone could have picked him out. Pointed questions are now being asked about security. How could a man with a gun get into the building where the Prime Minister and MPs were preparing for caucus and not be stopped? And was there some warning that this was about to happen? Uh, I think it's still too early to uh, confirm that, but I think that from our reaction, I think it, it caught us by surprise. Today, the RCMP also said the threat level, at least on Parliament Hill, hadn't changed. The uh, threat level on Parliament Hill, we've been operating at the uh, medium uh, level for the past number of years, and that's the level that we're operating at right now. Canadian dem And that question of how someone could get so close to the heart of Canadian democracy and not be stopped, well, Peter, it's a question that everyone from the Prime Minister to Canadians thousands of kilometres away are going to be asking. Yeah, and they certainly will be in the days ahead. Catherine, thank you. Catherine Cullen in Ottawa.